everyone. Every once in a while in your uh, Toastmaster club, you may decide that you want to change up something about the agenda, maybe the order of the agenda, maybe the contents of the agenda, anything like that. You, you could decide you want to do something different. So for example, you could have where, uh, this happened with, with my Toastmasters club, we had an agenda where we basically had two speeches and we found out that because of the popularity of asking for speeches, we needed to expand to a three speech format. So how do you change the agenda? Well, what you can do is if you go to any meeting in Easy Speak, um, there's always this agenda button here. So if we want to edit that agenda, we can come in here, we can move things up and down with these buttons here. We can make changes to a specific item by clicking on the little pencil button. Like for example, that speech, you know, it's saying that this is a five to seven minute speech and you know, do we want it to print in certain places, etc. So we could make that longer, shorter. Now, when a, when a person actually chooses a particular manual and chooses a speech, this will update automatically to how long that speech is. This is just an agenda template. I'm gonna go back and, for example, if you wanna take one of these line items out, you can click the little X button right over here. Um, but let's say you just wanted to do some things differently. Maybe you wanted to revert this back to a two speech format. You could take out the third speaker and the evaluation slips out of the agenda, maybe make table topics a little longer. And when you do that, what you can do down towards the bottom is you can use this agenda to create a new template. So all you do is give it a name and click new template. And so that's all you do. So then from that point on, whatever template you want to use when you're creating your meeting, you select the appropriate template from the drop down box. So it's actually pretty simple, uh, but if you have any questions about how to do this, please leave your questions below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much and I'll see you on another video.